Hello everyone. This is a short introduction on how to install the adminizer. First what you need to do is go ahead to www.adminizer.com and choose to download the test version of the software. You will get two zip files. The first zip file is adminizer server installer and the other one is adminizer client installer. I have already extracted these files here. So first of all you take a help desk computer open up the adminizer server installer and just go ahead and install the adminizer server installer.msi package. After you installed it, you will have a few tools in your C program files x86 adminizer server tools. First what you need to do is run the adminizer password generator tool and run it as an admin. Give your organization name, give your password length, special characters that you want to use. I will only use an explanation mark and a question mark. I will generate 10,000 passwords, which will expire in a few years. And the local admin username that we're going to use will be VKS admin. Our help desk telephone number is 555-666. Then just press the adminize button. You have now created 10,000 passwords, which will be changing all year around on your workstations. The password file is generated in C program data adminizer and the company name you chose. What you need to do next is to extract the adminizer client installer, which I have here. Go ahead to your C program files. Sorry, C program data. Adminizer. Choose your company. Take these two files, the company 2 underscore 1 underscore seques dot pvd and the local admin.name file. These were just created by the adminizer generator tool. Copy these. Copy them, them to the adminizer client installer folder. Now you can take these files and just copy them on a USB drive. Go to another computer and simply install the adminizer client installer.msi and you're good to go. You can also copy these to a network folder and just run the installation from there. The main thing is that the Adminizer Client Installer MSI package will need to have these three files in the folder that it is run from. That's all you need.